let's uh, uh, analyze exercise 5 with the PDF ID and uh, we get the same output more or less like previous exercise, exercise 4, so we have JS and JavaScript but now we have one more count for an open action so and this explains the difference between exercise 4 and exercise 5 they both contain embedded JavaScript but when you open document in document 4 the embedded JavaScript will not execute while in exercise 5 it will execute and the difference is this open action here this open action specifies that when a, docu a PDF document is opened by the PDF reader an action has to be performed and the action to perform here is to execute JavaScript so let's look search for this uh, open action with the search option we look for open action in exercise 5 and here you have it so it's in the root object object 1 there is an open action that refers to object 7 so the action in object 7 will be executed when the PDF document here is opened and uh, let's use PDF parser to have a look at object 7 and you can see that uh, object 7 here is our uh, JavaScript uh, script exactly the same as the one in exercise 4 the difference here is just that there is an action to execute the JavaScript when the PDF document is opened